everybody, it's Adam, and I am coming to you live today from New York City. This is uh, Times Square, and where I am is not actually as important as why I'm here. So why don't we go ahead and talk about that right now. So we are incredibly fortunate today to be at the first ever Mitral Conclave Conference, which is being organized by Dr. David Adams from Mount Sinai Hospital here in New York City. And now it's our time to go inside and talk with some of the leading surgeons from around the world. Let's go. So we're now inside the Sheraton at the Mitral Conclave, and as you can see, there are meetings and conferences going on all around us. And to give you an idea of some of the surgeons, some of the valve specialists that are here today, Dr. Gilanoff from the Cleveland Clinic, Dr. Patrick McCarthy from Northwestern, Dr. Odd from Anova, Dr. Gerdish from St. Francis. The list goes on and on with some of the leading surgeons gathering today in a community to talk about the best ways to manage mitral valve disease and treat it. So let's continue on. Even a temporary sound, which is not going away very fast, I go back and increase the positive effect. Yeah, what I'm, what I'm saying is there's specifically some pretty strong echo shows, some, some sort of sound. <laughs> However, patient asymptomatic, that kind of problem, what should we do? So we just showed you a picture of what it's like in the main exhibit hall. And now we're actually at a breakout session. This is where uh, various learning and teaching sessions are going on. You can tell by the amount of people. This is not just standing room only. This is, you can't even stand in the room. You can't get in the room. We're going to let them continue on. So as you can see, there's a lot of exciting things going on at the Mitral Conclave. And now it's your turn, if you choose to, to participate in what's happening here. If you have a question about arc valve surgery, please take a moment to press the leave a comment button below. Over the next few days, I'll do my best to get those questions answered. And much like you're seeing here, put onto a video and then communicate it at heartvalveblog.com. So hopefully you'll participate. Again, hope all is well and keep on ticking. Thank you.